Let me show you guys an aquarium that black spotting them, and they're super unique. They have zero eyes. That's a beautiful bed up. And they have a beautiful selection of. Look at that scape. Check this out. I gotta show you guys something that's just crazy. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be freshwater or saltwater, goldfish, koi ponds, DIY projects, product reviews, fish rescues, and local fish store tours. Now, I'm pretty excited for this video because this was a video that you guys wanted, the Ohana. Now, check it out. So in one of my videos, I got left a comment from my boy Mikey asking, hey Mel, what fish can you stock in a 10 gallon tank? That's such a loaded question and there's so many different varieties of fish that you can stock in a 10 gallon tank. So what I'm gonna do, Ohana, and I just thought of a great idea, why not come to my local fish store, Aquarium and Reptile Depot in Citrus Heights and shoot a video on this subject. So I'm gonna go give you guys some ideas. I'm gonna give you 10 different ideas that you can stock a 10 gallon tank with, all right? So let's go to the back and get busy. Come on, let's go. Oh, also, Ohana, we're gonna do an update on the P500 Red Sea Freshwater Aquarium that they're setting up here at Aquarium Depot, okay, guys? So stay tuned, we'll do an update on that, too. Ooh, it's getting close before they start to add water and fish. We're gonna start off with two classic fish, okay? Now, you can probably stock about four to five of these in a 10-gallon tank, beautiful fish, schooling fish, and some of my favorite. Check it out. These are known as the Cardinal Tetras. A beautiful fish, they stay about maybe an inch, inch and a half, but a beautiful schooling fish, look at them. Now the colors here are a lot more vibrant than the neon tetras, which are the same color. Also, the variation of that red stripe goes all the way through their body, starting from where their head is, all the way through to the tail. Let's go check out the neons. So here are some neon tetras. Now remember, I was just telling you about the red stripe. Let's look at this one right here. This one right here, you can see the red stripe how it goes only halfway through their body. Compared to the Cardinal Tetra, which the red stripe goes all the way through the body. So in my opinion, you get a lot more color with the Cardinal Tetras versus the Neon Tetras. And honestly, the color is a lot more vibrant with the Cardinal Tetras versus the Neon Tetras. Now you can also go with about four or five of these in a 10 gallon aquarium. Hope you guys know the difference now between a Cardinal Tetra and a Neon Tetra. Pretty simple. Now let's get into something a little bit more fun for a 10 gallon aquarium. Now these are personally one of my favorites for a 10 gallon aquarium and they just pack so much color and, and in my opinion, it's one of the most underrated, I guess you can call it a somewhat nano fish, all right? Check them out. These are the metallic gold barbs. These are a beautiful fish, so underrated. The color that they pack, they have a little bit of orange in them with that bright gold metallic color and also without black spotting on the side. And when they start to get full grown, they'll top off at about an inch and a half, two inches. Oh my goodness, they are a straight stunner. Also another fun fact about the metallic gold barbs is you don't need a heater for these fish, yeah. They love, but I can't say they love the cold water, but they can adapt to water temperatures at 60 to 65 degrees. I kept these guys outside in my above ground pond in the summer and they did actually fine. So that's another cool little detail on the metallic gold barb no heater in the aquarium. The metallic gold barb. Just keep that in mind. Take the notes, all right, Ohana? These things, I'm telling you, man, I, I love these fish. I had them. Uh, my mother-in-law has them. I actually stocked them in her aquarium, and uh, they're getting big, and that color just comes out, and oof, a complete stunner. Now, you can probably do about three or four of these in a 10-gallon aquarium. No harm. Another one of my personal favorite fish in a 10-gallon tank and you also don't need a heater for this fish too as well. It's the white gold cloud minnow or white cloud minnow. So let's go take a look at them. Now look at these, these are called gold white cloud minnows. I actually added a bunch of these in my pond. So like I said, cold water, they can adapt. Um, I mean, my pond outside drops down to like the low 40s, sometimes high 30s during the winter and they're fine. But these fish right here are complete stunner in a 10 gallon tank. The color, you know what I mean? What they pack. Look at that. Now they have that little black dot in their red tail. That gold color just stands out. And you can probably keep another like four or five of these in a 10 gallon tank too as well. And they max out at about, you know, 
maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half, if that. These are the gold white cloud minnows. Now let's go check out some white cloud minnows, which are really nice too. So these are the white cloud minnows. Let me zoom in on some of them right here. The white cloud minnows, beautiful fish, also a cold water fish. So you can actually uh, keep these in an aquarium with no heater. And I actually bought like 25 of these and kept them outside in my pond. So this is a cool little schooling pond fish. Like I said, adapted to cold water. Water temperatures dropped way down in the low 40s this season and they're all doing fine, but they pack a nice little color, red tail, black little dot there. Um, and this is another one of my favorite fish that you can actually stock in a 10 gallon tank. Another about four or five of these in a 10 gallon tank, really cool. But yeah, this is a couple more ideas for a 10 gallon tank. Now a lot of these fish are pretty much common at your local fish store. That's what I'm showing you guys, fish that are common. Now I'm gonna show you some fish that you can put in the 10 gallon tank, maybe about three or four of these, and they're super unique. And uh, I don't wanna say they're hard to find, but you just don't normally see these types of fish for a 10 gallon tank. So let me show you what they got here. All right, you guys ready for something unique in a 10 gallon aquarium? Feast your eyes on these babies. These are the blind cave fish. They have zero eyes. They're a super skittish fish. They roam around pretty aggressively, but I wouldn't recommend keeping this fish with another fish. I would do maybe three or four of these in a 10 gallon tank. Super active though for being blind. You know what I mean? Like. They just scoot around looking for food. Uh, their senses are probably on point. You can see some of these here swimming around. Look at them. Yeah, they don't look like they're blind, right? They don't swim like they're blind. Look at them. <laughs> they're so neat. This is a unique fish that I would actually put, oh gosh, let me zoom out of there. Um, you know, in a 10 gallon aquarium. And they're here with corridors. You can see these giant corridors here, but such a unique fish. Look at it. No eyes. Look, mom, no eyes. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> Awesome fish, and they have them here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Here's another fish that you can probably put about four or five in a 10 gallon tank. One of my personal favorite tetras, check it out. The Rummy Nose Tetra. You can never go wrong with a Rummy Nose Tetra. These fish are actually beautiful. When it comes to like a small fish with a ton of color, the Rummy Nose is where it's at. Look at that tail. It's like a little flag, like a finish line flag in a NASCAR race. They got the red or Rummy Nose, you get it? Just an awesome, beautiful fish. Gosh, let me zoom out of there. Look at them. They're so active too, extremely fast. They love to be in a school. So, you know, get about four or five of these in a school in a 10 gallon tank and just let them run wild. Look at them, extremely active in an aquarium. All right, now I'm gonna throw a little bit of a curveball at you. We're gonna do a combination of fish in a 10 gallon aquarium, okay? So um, let's just keep in mind the Neon Tetra and the Cardinal Tetra, okay? Let's keep those two fish in mind, three or four of those, maybe even five of those in a 10 gallon tank, along with one of these. The classic betta fish. This is a beautiful crown tail, I believe. That is a beautiful fish. We're gonna go down the line here. Look at this beautiful one here, huh? Looks like candy. It's like candy. I can feel it when you walk, even when you talk. Look at this one, huh? Is that fire, literally, or is that fire? Fire, 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 fire. That's a beautiful betta. All in different price ranges, too. Okay, this one's $50. This one right here is $39. And this one here, this crown tail, this red one is $9.99. This is just a little sample of what you can add in a 10 gallon tank. Combination, baby. We're doing a combination plate right now. A betta, three or four, neon tetras and or cardinal tetras. Great combination. And by the way, they have a beautiful selection of bettas here. I believe those are called candy gal bettas, if I'm not mistaken. That's why it just makes sense. You know what I mean? I just called it a piece of candy. It looks like a piece of Starburst. That's what it reminds me of. But the red crown tail, ooh wee. For 10 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong with that betta. But those candies, mm. And now I'm gonna show you another fish that's super classic and super common in the fish hobby at your local fish store, right? Check out these for a 10 gallon aquarium. You can never go wrong with some fancy guppies. Look at the colors on these guys, huh? Ooh wee. I call these the little koi's of a 10 gallon tank because they pack so much color. And even from the top, these fish are money from the top. The colors, their dorsal fins, their tails, insane colors, especially when you got a really nice group of males. Normally the males have the dominant, beautiful, bright colors. But yeah, this is a 
a beautiful, beautiful fish to have in a 10 gallon aquarium. Now I'm gonna actually show you guys a fish that I personally keep in my 10 gallon aquarium in my kitchen along with my betta. So let me show you these beauties. They're actually just stunners. Now you pay a little more for them, but in the end, beautiful fish. You can't go wrong with them. And the colors they pack, insane. Check it out. Now these are considered really beautiful fish. Now these were just actually put into the aquarium. So they just got a shipment of these. They're a little stressed out right now. So they're really not showing their po potential color right now. But these are the Celestial Galaxy Danios. Beautiful fish. And when they're fully colored, they look or they remind me of like a mini trout. Yeah, such a beautiful fish. Um, for a 10 gallon aquarium you can get like shoot maybe six or seven of these you know and they don't grow very big like I said they stayed nearly under an inch um, and just a beautiful fish I'm gonna show you guys what one looks like fully colored up um, and not stressed okay they have a beautiful aquascape aquarium up front and I'm gonna show you what one of these look like now the um, Celestial Galaxy Pearl Daniels they're going for $7.99 here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot and they have a full stock of all of these guys. So let's go check out what one looks like. I'm gonna show you guys what a full grown, full blown, beautiful colored up Celestial Galaxy Daniel looks like. Check it out. All right, Ohana, so here is a Celestial Pro Daniel up close and personal. Look at that beautiful fish, right? Like I said, the red and the fins and look at those spots on the body. Just a beautiful nano fish. This is a full grown one colored up and you cannot go wrong with this beautiful nano fish. I'm telling you guys, look at it. Just stunning, right? Imagine a group of those in a 10 gallon aquarium. Good Lord, beautiful fish. You're gonna pay a little more for these, but it's all worth it, trust me. Now I'm not really gonna count this as a fish or one of my top fish for a 10 gallon aquarium but I am gonna actually um, just show this fish because I think it's an important fish to control the algae in your aquarium, okay? And it's not a shrimp. Now, if you guys want, and if your local fish store carries a mono shrimp, that is an excellent shrimp to take care of all of the algae that grows in your aquarium. But if you want a fish that stays relatively small and you can have them in there with other fish, although they sometimes get a little territorial, you gotta kinda watch them. None other than the auto sinkless. This is an awesome algae controlling fish. You know, maybe one of these I would suggest in a 10 gallon aquarium is all you need. You know, nothing colorful about them, um, but this is something that you would want in your aquarium. The auto perfect nano fish for a 10 gallon tank to control your algae. And you can see them all over here. That's what they're doing in this aquarium right now. They're controlling the algae. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys, I think this is 10. I think this is number 10. I could be off by one or something like that, but I'm gonna show you a fish uh, that for the most part, majority of the local fish stores carry. Uh, of course, Aquarium Depot has it, and you guys will absolutely love this fish for a 10 gallon aquarium. Those of you guys that ever wanted to keep puffer fish, and you guys are always saying to yourself, oh, puffer fish are too big. I got some puffer fish that you can keep in a 10 gallon aquarium. Check it out. Here they are, the pea puffer, Ohana. You can actually keep, I would say in a 10 gallon a tank, I would say maybe three of these, but you really gotta add some hiding places for these guys because they are super territorial. So if you have enough hides and enough greenage, some plants, some fake plants, um, some rocks for them to swim around, you can, you can honestly keep three. I would say that's probably the max. Three in a 10 gallon aquarium if you have the right scape, okay? Just giving you a heads up, these are actually a really cool fish to have. People will come up and look at these fish and be like, oh my gosh, what are these? And they're little mini puffer fish. They love frozen blood worms. That would be awesome for them to have a diet of just frozen blood worms. For the most part, you get it. Little mini puffers, look at them. The cutest, right? All right, Ohana, before I wrap things up here, let's go to the front and check out the P500 Red Sea Freshwater Aquarium that Jason and Jeff are actually mm, building. They actually just added the sump. Yeah, I got some footage of them kind of building it, putting it together, and uh, maybe I'll run that footage for you right now and I'll show you what it looks like. Check out this footage.
Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Red Sea Aquariums, they're just a beautiful, classy looking aquarium. Like the one behind me, this is the S1000. I believe it's like 265 gallons. I could be off a gallon or two. This is a beautiful display aquarium. When you first walk into the store, you're hit with this beautiful bad boy. Now, this one over here is the P500, and I've never seen a Red Sea Aquarium set up in a freshwater format. So like all you freshwater people out there, you guys are gonna love this. Jeff is doing an excellent job on the scape. I'm gonna show you guys the complete setup. It's not up and running yet, okay? It's kind of going in like stages. So I've been here videoing each stage in the process. So I'm sharing it with you guys on this build and it's awesome though. Check it out. Look at this guys. Look at the stand that it's on, but look at that scape. Jeff did an awesome job. Look at the rock at the base with this piece of drift what I don't know if this is one big piece or two or three separate pieces but the way he scaped this thing I'm telling you man this is nice I love this P500 Red Sea now the cool thing about these Red Sea aquariums is they come with the sump yeah I'm talking tank stand and sump check it out Whew. whammo huh look how beautiful this sump is. Now it doesn't come with the media or the pump, all right? They're just slowly setting this up, but look how beautiful this is, right? The sump, it also comes with all the plumbing too. So you see all this plumbing here? It comes with it all. The only thing it doesn't come with is the pump and the media. So, you know, when you spend the top dollar for an aquarium setup like this, hey, you get what you pay for. That's all I gotta say. So far, this is what they got here. I mean, it's getting super close of adding fish and water. I mean, look at the contrasoil that they used in here. They used 80 pounds of contrasoil in this aquarium. Yeah, look at that. It's so perfect. Now, if you're curious about the Ultimate Nature Systems contrasoil, hey, don't worry about it because Aquarium Depot has got your back. They carry every type of soil for UNS here. Excellent soil for growing plants. I'm a firm believer. I actually have it in my 10 gallon aquarium at home in the kitchen that's growing all my plants super healthy this soil has all the right nutrients to keep those plants healthy and growing now they have every size that you need they have extra fine they have normal and they have my size which is fine <laughs> that was so dumb anyways just giving you guys a heads up contra soil here uns at aquarium depot i love it man this thing is gonna look so nice guys let's go from this angle over here see if there's a glare oh this is a really bad glare oh it's not that bad but look at that huh Ooh -wee. here it is and it's splendid man love this bad boy look at that i can't believe 80 pounds of contra soil it's like i think he said it was four big bags so it was four 20 pound bags of contra soil and it is it looks like it might be the fine yeah, it looks like the fine size. Yeah, <sighs> impressive. Another shot of it. I love how they built this flooring and this little prop up step here. It just gives it that, you know, it's in your home feeling, you know? Good job, boys, I can't wait. The next steps, probably adding water, cycling, and then fish. All right, now that I show you that Red Sea, let me show you guys an aquarium that I showed in a previous video when I was here, right? check this out and I got some pretty cool news too all right so remember this 180 gallon aquarium that when I was here I was thinking to myself this would be really cool to have all the Oscars in Tiki Lounge well I'm here to let you guys know that I was talking to the boys and we're gonna work out a deal this bad boy is gonna be coming home with me so I'm gonna have this 180 gallon aquarium look at this thing it's a beautiful beautiful aquarium it's a perfect aquarium to put a bunch of oscars in here not too many oscars but we're gonna have like a handful of oscars in this bad boy oh I, I can't wait this thing is gorgeous let me flip the camera around maybe you guys can get a better view of it i mean this is just a gorgeous aquarium all the way down it's 72 inches long by 24 by 24 so this aquarium here is going to look sick and I love how wide it is too. Two feet wide, look at this. Oh, look how perfect that is. Whew, all the way down, this is gonna be the aquarium, the show aquarium. This is gonna be the Oscar Aquarium Depot Aquarium is what it's going to be. Anyways, I had to share that great news with you guys. Also, I gotta give another shout out to Jason and Jeff here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Um, yeah, 
I'm telling you right now, Tiki Lounge is going to be off the chain, so stay tuned. Speaking of stay tuned, if you guys haven't subscribed to the Hawaiian Fish Keeper, why don't you do yourself a favor? Do your boy a favor, all right? Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just going to notify you when I upload a new video. And of course, Ohana, if you're watching this video, please give this video a big like. It helps the channel out, keeps it in that algorithm, you know what I'm saying? 180 gallon aquarium in Tiki Lounge. I can't get over it right now. What? OMGZ Ohana, check this out. I gotta show you guys something that's just crazy. I just saw it, check it out. All right, so I was looking at these Oscars. I was just live on Instagram and I read the sign and it said, Tiger Shovel Nose Catfish. And I'm like, oh cool, it must be a little baby Shovel Nose Catfish in here. And then I look in here and look at these dudes up here. Look it, there's the Tiger Shovel Nose Catfish. Oh my gosh, look it. Look at this dude is trying to eat it backwards, man. Look at these Oscars, man. They're insane. Straight savages, man. They took out a baby. Obviously, it's a baby. Tiger shoving those catfish, man. That is insane. I got to let the boys know so they can take this guy out because these guys are just going ham on this. Isn't that crazy? Man. I'm telling you guys right now, let me tell you something about the Oscar fish. I remember calling my Oscar fish, or actually talking about my Oscar fish, talking about how they're predator fish, and I remember somebody commenting, I don't know who it was, but somebody commented saying, Oscar fish isn't a predator fish. Okay, when you got an Oscar fish eating a tiger shoving those catfish, even though it's a baby one, it doesn't matter. They are a predator fish from South America, okay? So don't get it twisted, okay? They are a predator fish, they are extremely aggressive, but they also have different tempers too. You can have some Oscars that are super chill, super relaxed, and then you have some Oscars that are super aggressive and just pretty much buttholes, right, in the aquarium. And you gotta either move them or get rid of them, but just so you guys know, do not downplay the Oscar fish, okay? It is a cichlid from South America, the Amazon Basin, okay? The Amazon River, and they are a predator fish. That was just some insane footage I had to show you guys. Well, Ohana, that pretty much does it here. I hope you guys loved this video. It was something different. I never did a top 10 for 10 gallon fish um, in a 10 gallon aquarium. So Mikey, this one is to you. Thanks to all the boys here. The, uh, the staff is extremely nice here. Every time I come here, I'm usually in their way video. And so big shout out to the staff here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot, Jason and Jeff, the owners. Thank you again. And I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, P500. It's coming together, guys. And uh, leave a comment down below, right, guys? Don't forget to leave that comment. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for a 10-gallon aquarium, okay? There's just so many different options, and I just wanted to share some of the options that I love, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Bye.